thank you Jesus father we thank you for a time like this before you and we thank you for your grace your power your love and might we thank you for the manifestation of the power of God at our meetings and we thank you for the wondrous works you have been doing at the manna water services thank you for the wondrous things you are going to do in your people's lives today accept our thanks in the name of Jesus Father lay your hands upon us tonight and let us by your power help us to war a good warfare in Jesus mighty name we pray let's have a seat God bless you as we open our Bible to the book of Amos we have Amos in the Old Testament Amos the book of Amos you find Amos after Joel before you get to Obadiah Amos 7 verse 2 and verse 5 Amos chapter 7 verse 2 and 5 and it came to pass that when they had made an end of eating the grass of the land then I said O Lord God forgive I beseech thee by whom shall Jacob arise for he is small this message is titled by whom shall Jacob arise by whom shall Jacob arise the same thing in verse 5 then said I O Lord God cease I beseech thee by whom shall Jacob arise for he is small keep that at the back of your mind move a little back to the book of Osea Osea chapter 12 verse 13 Osea 12 13 and by a prophet the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt and by a prophet he was preserved by a prophet the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt by a prophet who was preserved and Amos 7 to ask the question by whom shall Jacob arise wherever you are and wherever you are coming from or whoever you are you cannot live your life in isolation no matter how smart how bright how gifted how intelligent how talented or how anointed you may be 
you need destiny promoters you need destiny helpers no matter how intelligent you are no matter the words of prophecy that have gone forth for your life you need destiny promoters you need destiny helpers these are people divinely positioned to help you in your life's journey listen beloved to fulfill your destiny there must be a connection between you and people strategically positioned by God to assist you in realizing your dreams so by whom shall Jacob arise here is talking about destiny helpers destiny helpers for 13 years a woman could not join her husband abroad anytime she went to this embassy for visa they would say no she began to pray some of the kind of prayers we are going to start praying now she, she tried many years ago no way this day she appeared at this embassy it was as if that visa visa woke up on the wrong side of the bed that day all the seven or eight people that were before her no 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 no, no. the woman already started crying but she remember the prayers she prayed some of the prayers were going to pray just now all of a sudden when it was a turn to be called in the man said hello uh, Richard uh, come and take over my place I want to go to the toilet so he went away for that few moments another officer came in and when the officer settled down said yes madam went there and so, why do you need a visa not? I want to visit my husband I've not seen him for 13 years man said no problem no problem I'll give you the visa come and collect it and uh, put it our style the woman could not hide it <laughs> she shouted praise the Lord as he was shouting praise the Lord the former man who was refusing everybody had come back from the toilet madame has been cleared and he continues saying no 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 other people you need destiny helpers you need destiny promoters wherever you are today somebody helped you no man can succeed without the assistance of people no matter how brilliant how talented how intelligent you are you, you cannot succeed without helpers it is because man has always needed help that makes people run here and there in the time of need there are people running all over the place running from here to there it's because they need help no man can 
fulfill his destiny all by himself. No man can fulfill his destiny all alone. So by whom Sir Jacob arise? This who is going to help Jacob now? Every life is daily dependent on the goods and services of others. God has structured the world in such a way to make nobody an island. Even the biggest and strongest nations they are beggars without the help of weaker nations whose resources service those nations. The greatest rulers they are helpless without simple things like driver soldiers cooks cleaners and so on and so forth the car you ride was made by somebody sold by somebody else and service still by someone else and no matter how rich you are you cannot eat your money you can't eat it the money is just a means of buying the help of others the fact I'm establishing for you is this nobody is interdependent nobody is independent of nature nature is interdependent we breathe in the air exhaled by the plants the plants also breathe in the air exhaled by us that's why we are alive remove the plants human beings are no more they are interdependent no one is an island on this planet that's why I'm praying this powerful prayer for all of you listening to me here may God send you divine helpers may God send you helpers whom when your enemies see they will run away in terror may your helpers never be small or few may you have helpers let your amen be sevenfold in this one <laughs> may you have helpers who will help you to recover what you have lost in the name of Jesus may your help us increase may your help us increase may your help us increase in the name of Jesus I'm praying for you right now right there where you are every power blocking your destiny help us shall die violently in the name of Jesus Just your destiny negatively. They shall scatter in the name of Jesus. Any power killing your helpers shall be killed by the angels of God in the name of Jesus. Any false occupier of the seat of your destiny helpers shall vacate shall vacate shall vacate in the name of Jesus all the serpent powers riding the horse of your destiny shall die in the name of Jesus the powers assigned to terminate your helpers shall be terminated shall be terminated shall be terminated shall be terminated shall be terminated, shall be terminated. in the name of Jesus 
cleverly designed spiritual blindness to make you miss the air pass of your destiny is wiped off by the blood of Jesus. It's wiped off. It's wiped off. It's wiped off. In the name of Jesus, a seven fold back. I will sit for a few minutes. Help allows you to go fast. Help brings quick recovery. Help allows you to attempt great things for God. There are therefore different categories of destiny helpers. You have advisors. They are destiny helpers. Naaman was a leprous man. Well, the little girl from Israel that they captured as a slave was the one that said, My master. That is, that is a prophet in Samaria that can heal you. Advisors. May you have divine advisors in the name of Jesus. You have counselors. Counsel you. Give you counsel that will help your destiny. You have informants to give you information. Don't go to that place. Don't go to this place. They give you information. They are destiny helpers. You have good friends. Good friends. Good friends. That's why when you are in church, make sure you have good friends in church the friends of that man they were so good to him that when he could not assess Jesus through the door mouth they opened the roof they, they tore the roof to bring their friends in. May God give you helpers who will tear the roof for you in the name of Jesus. You have mentors. Moses was a mentor to Joshua. Elijah was a mentor to Elisha. Paul was a mentor to Timothy. They are destiny helpers, mentors. You have facilitators. They facilitate what you are doing. They are helpers. You have good broadcasters. Those who will broadcast you for good. They are destiny helpers. You have compassionate associations. They are destiny helpers. You have voices raised on your favor, behind your back. Destiny helpers. Your husband. Your wife. They are destiny helpers. We have prayer partners. They are destiny helpers. We have teachers. Destiny helpers. Godly parents. They are destiny helpers. Angels of God. They are destiny helpers. Recommenders for good things. 
that destiny help us. Helper of helpers. They are all destiny helpers. Pastors, prophets, they are all destiny helpers. There is always a connection between your prophet and your destiny. There is a strong connection between a person's destiny and the prophetic or pastoral coverage over the person's life. For example, God raised Moses as a cover for Israel. And there was no way Israel had any destiny without Moses. By a prophet, he brought them out of Egypt. So that prophet that brought them out is a destiny helper. By a prophet, they were preserved. The prophet that allowed them to be preserved, they are destiny helpers. It is therefore a major tragedy when you miss your destiny helper. There is nobody called Timothy in the Bible without Paul. When you search through the scriptures, you begin to see how the pastor, the prophets, play a major role in your destiny. That's your pastor or a prophet can actually connect you to your purpose in life through teaching preaching prayers ministration that prophet or pastor can help you to make the way of God plain in your eyes that prophet or pastor may be the one who will be giving you divine prescription you sit in the service you hear the word of God so this is how you do it if you are to be successfully married this is what to do if you are to be successful in business this is how to do it they, they prescribe that's your prophet or pastor may be the activator of your potentials that is, that is gift inside of you talent inside of you they will encourage you to bring it out that prophet or pastor may be the one to empower you to possess your possession then that prophet or pastor may be the one to ensure your deliverance because without that deliverance are not moving anywhere that prophet may provoke your elevation provoke your progress they are all destiny helpers that pastor prophet may be your agent of protection that pastoral cover said by a prophet it led them out of Egypt by a prophet he preserves them but that pastoral cover and the prophetic words that you are getting from the pulpit getting from the pastor getting from the teachers is helping your destiny that pastoral cover may be the key to your divine immunity a key to your manifestation it may be your divine watchman and in many cases that prophet pastor is your coach in spiritual warfare 
coaching you I'm praying for you once again that the hand of the God of Elijah shall draw the right person to you in the name of Jesus shall draw them to you in the name of Jesus the Lord will open your eyes of understanding to see your destiny help us in the name of Jesus can you raise up your two hands and shout this loud pass blocking my destiny help us you are Jesus. Somebody is breaking through with his prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. Sit down for a few minutes, mom. Yes. Who then? It's a destiny helper. A destiny helper. Or by destiny helpers. We mean those divinely programmed to move you to your next level. We mean those who are catalysts to your divine fulfillment. We mean the person programmed by heaven to provide you help that you need to achieve your goals in life. The person who plays a, a defined role in your life at a defining period those are destiny helpers therefore beloved therefore capital letter many of life's failure is due to the absence of destiny helpers at the critical period the gap created by the absence of destiny helpers can sink a destiny forever so much for this but that's a major problem real real major problem the problem is this there are blocker spirits preventing people from meeting those ordained to promote them brothers sisters ladies and gentlemen boys and girls there are blockers blocker spirits the agenda to prevent people from meeting those ordained to promote them beloved there are blocker spirits and powers that will make a man to be waging war against his Moses. The Moses God ordained to help the person's destiny. You are now fighting him. How do you move forward? God has said, I have attached your destiny to this Moses. But now, 
we are fighting the Moses. We are quarreling with the Moses. You are abusing the Moses. You are insulting the Moses. You are getting rude to that Moses. You, are, you even went beyond your level. You are cursing the Moses. Moses that God ordained from the beginning of the world. Now this is the person to attach yourself to. Bottom line, that un unfortunately, some people will never, never make it in life. Because they're waging war against their deliverer, against their Moses. The Bible says, My prophet, let them out. But the same prophet, preserve them. When that prophet said, Everybody, come out, go and kill a lamb, take the blood, apply it to your lintel. For when the angel of destruction sees the blood, it will pass over you. And you say, excuse me, I'm not going to do it. Where are you to be commanding me? Why should, why should I follow your advice? Why do you think I should follow your advice? <laughs> That's the end of that destiny. That's the end of that destiny. This is a very, very serious matter. These are the work of the blocker spirits. This is where prayer is needed. Because the destiny pointers of so many people have been removed. In some cases, the blocker spirits have even killed the destiny ever. It is a tragedy when somebody is still in the mother's womb. But, and the destiny helper that is supposed to help this baby who is in the womb to become somebody has been killed even before the baby was born. Blocker spirits, they organize all kinds of things. They bring people, wrong partners, wrong spouses, push people to wrong pastors, wrong colleagues, wrong friends, wrong advisors, wrong acquaintances. All this as a result of blocker spirits. This is a serious matter. A girl followed her friend to a party. She went to the party as a virgin. She left the party this virgin by multiple men who she had never met before. It was a friend who brought her to the party. And the drug a drink. She stepped off. And all those strange boys began to sleep with her. They didn't even care that yeah, he is a virgin. Was a wrong friend who took her there. I'm praying for somebody here. Any wrong association that the enemy has attached your life in the name which is above all names Jesus Christ the son of the living God I command them to be separated from you now in the name of Jesus a sevenfold amen so the blocker spirits they can manipulate somebody into your life to waste your destiny. 
They, they manipulate the person's destiny. The connection between Uzziah the king and Isaiah almost destroyed the ministry of Isaiah until there was divine intervention to remove the Uzziah. Listen to me carefully before you start praying now. The powers of darkness see your contact person, your divine helper before you. May follow the person up and mess the person up, rubbish the person, even kill the person, leaving the person helpless. The contact person for your lifting may be killed by your enemies in order to limit you. You don't know, but they know that your connection with this person will promote your life. <laughs> let, us, let us break it. Let us break it. So that we can attack this person. A friend of mine shared an illustration. A very powerful illustration. I was a big ceremony taking place somewhere. And he had a lot he could learn from that place. So he tried to enter. Anytime he got to the gate, they stopped him. But you can't come here. It's not, it's not people like you that you want here. I said, but I have a PhD. I said, no. We don't care whether you have a PhD. But we don't, we don't, for somebody like you here. So he was so worried. So he stood by the gates looking worried. All of a sudden, the governor of his state was coming to the same meeting. And the governor knew, knew him. I also said, why not? Why Let me greet my friend. The governor greeted him. He said, how are you? He said, fine. Said, why, why are you standing here? He said, I want to enter to that place. Oh, really? He said, come and enter. Come and sit. Sit, sit beside me. Sit beside me. So he sat beside the governor. The man that said could not enter. By the time he was connected to one person, he got inside. That is the value of destiny helpers. The blocker spirit. They sometimes organize a satanic person to lead a person to backwardness and destruction. Backwardness and destruction. All the young people that are here, all that your useless boyfriend, useless girlfriend, that you are useless boyfriend, you are 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, you say you are having useless boyfriend all over the place. You are just encouraging and writing courier letters to destiny destroyers. And they may block you from your divine destiny helper forever because the time you are wasting with them, you have missed your destiny helper. The time you occupy yourself with one boyfriend that is not, God did not say it's your husband, God did not say you should marry the person, but you, you occupy your life with it. While you are busy occupying yourself, the enemy takes away the destiny helper that you are supposed to meet. The destiny helper. A man was in court. His lawyer has been bribed. So he was heading for a 10 year jail. 
For an offense he did not commit. He was shocked. His own lawyer was not against him. Lawyer, he was supporting the lawyer who came to take him to court. He was unhappy. But all of a sudden, the judge looked at him and said, Excuse me, do you remember me? He said, No, my lord. I don't remember. I can't remember. So look at me very well. I don't remember. It's okay. I will remind you. So do you remember many years ago when a runaway vehicle hit a man into the gutter? And you took the man out of the gutter? And you took the man to the hospital? And you dropped money? Say yes, yes, I remember. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so many years ago, when I was a bachelor, the judge said, I'm the person. So, so if you could be that kind to me, I don't believe what these people are saying. That judge was a destiny helper. We will have gone to jail for doing nothing. It's a tragedy when you are disconnected from that destiny helper. You say, okay, how do I connect to my divine helpers? I'll tell you before we start praying now. Number one is to understand your divine assignment. Know why you are here. Two, you must repent from every known sin. Sin will hinder you from receiving divine help. Three, you need to pray and quarry prayers. Pray and quarry prayers. Four, you need to pray the destiny helpers into your life. Then, you need to be hard working. Then, you need to be somebody who shows gratitude. Don't be an ingrate. Show gratitude. Finally, you need to disband the blocker spirits so that your eyes can be clear mm. your destiny help us have I'm praying for somebody here today every blocker the blocker spirit that are saying never that are saying never Will you locate your destiny helper? I bury them now in the name of Jesus. I bury them now. 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 In the name of Jesus. Rise to your feet now. In case you are here, you are not born again. If not, just surrender your life to Jesus. Do so very quickly now by coming quickly to the altar here. Say, Pastor, I want to surrender my life to Jesus. Leave that seat and find a way quickly to the altar here so that we can pray with you. God bless us to do so. Find a way quickly to this altar. Jesus is waiting for you here.
I congratulate you. So what I'm going to say after me, say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now, Lord Jesus, come into my life, take control of my life, in Jesus' name, amen. I'm going to pray with you now. Father, I thank you for your children here. I have surrendered their life to Jesus. Keep them standing by your power. Lay your hands upon their lives. In Jesus' name. Amen. See the pastor over there? Just follow the pastor for a few minutes. God bless you. On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. Hallelujah. of tonight <laughs> not gentlemen's prayers at all there are different categories of people when it comes to connection with destiny helpers some have never found the destiny helpers some found them and they lost them some are fighting the destiny helpers some the destiny helpers have been removed some the enemy has even killed the destiny helper some has been blocked from even seeing the, des the destiny helpers pushing them to wrong 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 people so there are different categories so this is not a day to negotiate or to to joke with the enemy the first prayer i want you to pray may seem irrelevant to the matter but it's very relevant can you shout this loud and clear every 
covenant assigned to stop me from rising can you say that loud and clear now if somebody needs to pray that in anger pray in the name of Jesus a very loud voice and the voice of enough is enough Pass! blocking my destiny helpers you are alone in the name of Jesus This is not a night to negotiate in this place. Not a night to negotiate at all. Masati la kaya bo shende la bo sanda. Riba sepia li katende kaya bo shanda. Jesus, then we pray. Say, my destiny helper. Where are you? Appear in the name of Jesus. name we pray oh God arise increase the shame of my enemies can you say that loud and clear in the name of Jesus then we pray where is the Lord God of Elijah Arise. give me a name that will rubbish my enemies can you shout it loud Your voice is not loud enough. Your voice is still not loud enough. In the name of Jesus.
Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Please bring out your tithes and your offering for this meeting before we go back to our prayers. Father, we thank you for the tithes and the offering. Good measure, praise and falling over. Let it be the lot of your children. Lay your hands upon our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Your manner water as we pray these prayers. Thank you, Jesus. Hold your manner water as we pray these prayers. Let, let the anointing upon that prayer flow into the water too can you shout this loud and clear battles against my showers of blessings backfire in the name of Jesus Something is happening. In Jesus' name we pray. Please, I want to beg you which that it is with your loudest voice you should say what I'm going to say after me. Say every present sickness. Every future sickness. to terminate my life. Can I hear you shouting this loud? I want your voice to be louder than that. It's happening, yes, they must die. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Then we pray. Tongues of wicked elders are signed against me. Dry up in the name of Jesus. commit the manna water unto your holy hands. Let your power, your glory, your mightiness, your anointing, your strength, your might flow into this water in the name of Jesus. Let this water break every yoke of darkness in the name of Jesus. Let it destroy every plantation of the enemy in the name of Jesus. Let 
Let it rubbish every walk of darkness in the name of Jesus. Let it become the water of healing, the water of deliverance, the water of power, the water of the mightiness of the name of the Lord. Down resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ. Flow into this water in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. The Lord blesses you from Zion. Make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. You shall go from strength to strength and from glory to glory. All the prayer requests, our Lord, answer them by fire. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let us share the grace in fellowship.